Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspies 12 box high end hotness football mixer. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. And at the very end, we're going to re randomize your names. We're going to give away that full sized Tua helmet. I'll show that off towards the end of the break. All right, so there's all the boxes in there. Big thanks to all the people who got spots straight up. And congrats again to the people who won those spots in uh, the Optic Football Fat Pack 34, 35, and 36. Appreciate everybody getting in however you got in. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Snake Eyes, two times. That's easy. One and two. Bang. All right, we got Tice on top. Zach on the bottom. And let's assign you a team. Snake Eyes. One and two. Man, it's easy. Seattle down to the Las Vegas Raiders. Las Vegas Raiders will obviously get Oakland Raiders stuff too. I know there's older boxes in this mixer. All right, so Tice with the Seahawks, Asa with the Saints, Thomas with the Broncos, Jacob with the Jets, Adam with the Cowboys, John with the Niners, Aaron with the Ravens, Aaron, Aaron Billingsley with the uh, Ravens, Aaron Salinas with the Bears. Robert with the Bucks, Jacob with the Dolphins, Josh with the Lions, Tice with the Patriots, Zach with the Steelers, Tice with the Browns, Adam with the Eagles, Davis with the Cardinals, Brandon with the uh, Bengals, Adam with the Chargers, Mike with the Chiefs, James with the Rams, Sean with the Titans, Tice with the Bills, Daniel with the Colts, Sean Kirkham with the Packers, Jim Moran with the Texans, Zach with the Falcons, Adam with the Vikings, official last spot mojo, last spot purchase straight up, Tice with the Giants, and Jags, Steven with the Redskins, Brandon with the Panthers, and Zach with the Las Vegas Raiders. I guess the Redskins will be something else. I don't know if they have announced the team name yet, but I know they officially announced they're going to be changing it. What they're changing it to is still up in the air, unless I missed that news today. Let's uh, sort by column B, by team. All right, now, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break itself, so stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was a lot of trade chatter, but at the end of the day, no deals were done. It's all good. Let's get a move on. So here's the final printout, the final list right here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. Right here, Tuesday the 14th, the day before... Uh, New tax day, so if you haven't done your taxes, better hurry up. All right, let's see. Let's get some of these bulkier boxes out of the way first. And we'll move into that Donner's Optic in a second here. Should we go back in time to 2013? Yeah. Back in time when it was uh, Geno Smith on the box. Oh, man, these were the old, remember the old days of Absolute Football? When they came in these McDonald's apple pie boxes, the memories. I'm putting apple pie in here. I think in the parlance of the industry, they're called pillow boxes. But. Which reminds me, I have not had an apple pie in a McDonald's apple pie. This break brought to you by McDonald's. Um, six to eight months, maybe? I think it's time. It's, it's getting to be about time for me to treat myself to an apple pie. Trent Richardson to 99. Xavier Rhodes is your rookie autograph to 299. All right, so that'll be for the Vikings. That'll be for Adam. Last spot mojo gets the Xavier Rhodes. Let's get my, myself a little room here. So that'll be base cards. We'll sleeve and top load all of those. Our shipping team will take care of those. Just in the interest of time, let's let's roll here. Landry Jones to 199. Steelers and tools of the trade. Niall Davis, triple relic and autograph. Four out of ten. Nice low number for the Chiefs. 
Mike G won that spot. Aaron Salinas, trendsetter, saying those apple pies from McDonald's are delish. Will, Will, you've never had a McDonald's apple pie? I don't know. It's kind of, you kind of don't really want one in the summertime. Maybe that's why I haven't had one. But it like during during a, a cold winter, getting a getting an apple pie maybe with a with a coffee in the morning. Or lunchtime even, or at night. Pretty good. Yeah, gosh, and filling is hot. They are. I don't know how many times I've burned my tongue on that. Rookie Premier Materials, Tyler Eifert. There you go. There's a bangle there, Brandon. That's kind of who you're looking for. But, uh, yeah, they're, those apple pies, I, you know, I don't, I don't eat McDonald's. Too. I love McDonald's. I don't got to avoid it. There's Mike Glenn and Buccaneers, you know, for the for the waistline, but but I'll treat myself to an apple pie every once in a while. And every year, I think this is the year where they're just going to change the formula. It's going to be some. It's going to just taste gross, and it's not going to be what I remember it to be. Buccaneers. That's Robert Gemmel with that. And then I have it, and then I'm like, this is great. They have not screwed around with the formula. In, in, if anything, with with in this day and age, the quality is probably better than it was back in the day. So, wow, yeah, it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good. It might depend on franchise. Wait, what? Dan Turk is saying I'll, you'll never forget McDonald's lobster rolls. I'm not sure if I would trust McDonald's with a lobster roll. That must have been a limited release. That must just be in like coastal states. This is like they're not offering lobster rolls in like Nebraska, right? This is like in Maine, they'll be like the McDonald's lobster roll. Or like San Francisco or something like that. The Alaska. What region was it? Well, it had to it had to only be like New England. Oh, they were they had it in Massachusetts, eight bucks a pop. How, yeah, how much of it was actually lobster? You think? Although they claim that the they claim that the McDonald's, like uh, the McDonald's people allege, that the fillet of fish is actually like this wild caught salmon, salmon or like a cod or something like that, like a legit. Like a legit fish, and <laughs> not like a, not just like artificial, an artificial amalgamation of tilapia or something like that. Deshaun Kaiser, rookie phenom relic. But I mean, if you're in Massachusetts, though. I've never been to Massachusetts, so I, this is all just like what's in my head of of what Massachusetts, coastal Massachusetts looks like. Can't you just go to the the lobster roll place down the street and spend eight bucks for a lobster roll and maybe some sourdough or whatever whatever else goes with lobster roll? So like, it's kind of pointless to go to McDonald's for a lobster roll. Oh, it's like twenty bucks. All right, so maybe maybe the, maybe they get you on price. You're like, I really want a lobster roll, but I don't want twenty dollar lobster roll. Fair enough. I, I could I could I could I could make sense of that. Uh, this is 2019 score, and then we'll go into 2020 score. The budget lobster. But lobster is not something you want to go budget for, right? Maybe you can. I don't know. Like, I would trust a... I would trust a... I would trust like a... Like, like a fried squid. Like a calamari, right? Because at least you're deep frying it and, you know... 
And that's gonna, you know. Luis saying, back in the day, they used to serve lobster to prisoners in jail. What kind of lobsters? I think they told them it was lobsters. Now I want a lobster. John hasn't had McDonald's in years. Had it two weeks ago. It was lousy. Even the fries suck. Max, you want less food talk, more car talk? Well, what do you want to talk about then? You set the topic. We'll talk about cards. Clay Matthews to 100. The all hands team. It's Ben Roethlisberger, green frame. Sorry, not numbered. Yeah, what do you got for us, Jordan? I have a topic on, on cards. Will baseball cards go way up when the season starts? I don't know. What do you think, Max? Max wants more card talk. He must have opinions. I don't think... So. I mean, what's way up to you? Like, it's relative, isn't it? But I would imagine whatever, like, say, really it's going to, the pricing will probably affect the rookies the most. So whatever the pricing of, say, Bo Bichette and Gavin Lux would be, you know, the other rookies, Aristides Aquino, guys like that, if they start off the season well, I mean, really it's performance-based, right? So if, once the season starts, yes, there'll be more interest in people collecting them. And it'll uh, increase the uh, increase their value if they play well in this short amount of time, if we even have it. But baseball doesn't really baseball really doesn't act the way basketball does on the secondary market. So it takes a little bit of marinating. Where are the good cards at, says Zach? But in this break back there. We're getting the heavier stuff out of the way first. What if I just did the good stuff first? Then no one would stick around for the for the other stuff at the end. I'm setting it up. We'll get there, Zach, don't worry. But the NBA market definitely reacts a lot differently from even football as well. I think NBA is just kind of at a at another level right now. Remember, baseball and football love these sports, but the collecting is generally contained to to us, to the U.S. market. That's it. You know, 
you're not finding a lot of diehard like NFL fans in in China or in the UK or in Germany or Spain, Australia, you know. But NBA, guess what? You got basketball players from Croatia, from Spain, from Australia, from Asia. You know, and they're on smaller rosters. You're, they're more accessible on TV. Their, their faces aren't covered by helmets or hats. You know what I mean? How many men are on a roster? 15, 16 men on a basketball roster? What's, this, what's a star, five starters and then you rotate in a few more players? Any player could just go, just go off for a minute or two and then all of a sudden they've got a lot of a lot of popular, I mean, so there's a lot of market factors that help the NBA. Yeah, soccer cards have always been pretty popular as well. I think more, more collectors, especially internationally, are getting wrapping their heads around the soccer, uh, collecting cards in general. And then it'll, it'll, and eventually if, you know, if more American collectors kind of get on, on board, Soccer cards are weird because internationally, I don't think there's like a tradition. Card collecting cards is intrinsically a very American sort of thing, you know. So there's two different things happening. The biggest market that collects cards, they're not collecting soccer, right? But one of the biggest sports in the world is soccer. So once all that once that matches up, then it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I mean, the value of cards will be impacted. There's no season this year. No. A, I think we'll, we we'll, we would never know what the what the value would have been. But I mean, look at Zion's. Zion's have been doing pretty well. You could almost argue that that it's almost be better that Zion didn't have to. Uh, there's the Michael P. Ryan. We'll send. We'll get these to whatever team they're on. But you can some some may even argue that it's almost good that Zion hasn't played because there was no time for him to have a bad game. The season was put on pause when there was like when he was maybe playing some excellent basketball. Exactly, Luis. Yeah, yeah. He didn't hurt his he didn't hurt his value by getting hurt. <laughs> Or potentially getting hurt, or everyone's fear, because as soon as like Zion like twists an ankle, you know, then it's confirmation bias for everybody. They're like, "Yep, she told you, Zion's injury prone. I was right. Sell your Zion's," and everyone freaks out, which may or may not be true. We don't know yet, but but I think Zion market. You're just gonna have to whoever's a buyer or a seller in that market just has to be kind of aware of the of the big ups and downs of of his market. It can go up, it can go down. It's Roquan Smith for the Bears. That will be for Aaron. So yeah, a lot a lot of knee jerk reactions probably for Zion. It'll be interesting to see how how his value kind of eventually settles. Because most of those top tier rookies are going to have this like big jump, right? But then eventually, it'll you know it'll dip a little bit and then it'll kind of taper off and plateau to like what the market will say it is. Market's still fluid on Zion. But I don't know, if, if Luka Doncic is of any indication, Luka Doncic, look at his second year stuff, and especially his first year stuff, there's Kendrick Rogers. I mean, they're still going strong. So if like Zion or John Morant, you know, have a nice second year, you know, their rookie cards are still gonna hold an incredibly strong amount of value, just like those Luka Doncic's have.
Right. Yeah. Look at look at Giannis now. I remember. <laughs> you can look back to some of our old. We've been doing this for a while, so you can go back to maybe five years ago when we were doing Giannis breaks, right? Maybe 14, 15, whenever his rookie year was. That's 35. 13, 14, 14, 15, something like that. And you could look at us doing prism basketball breaks, and there'll be there'll be moments where I'm just I'm just flipping through a car, I'm breezing by silver Zion or silver Giannis's, because back then, and probably for years after that, <laughs> it was like a, maybe Milwaukee fans really wanted him. People in Wisconsin, five dollar silver prism or something like that, a couple dollars maybe. I'm sure people who got the Bucks and got Giannis has probably sold those for like a lot cheaper than they could go for now. But now look at them now. It's insane. The other thing about basketball is that, you know, they're so, they're not playing three or four years of college. So you almost have to give a lot of rookies, add those three or four college years for them to kind of learn on the job as a professional, marinate a little bit and then see what they turn into. Victor, Ol I mention Victor Oladipo all the time. That's another like late bloomer sort of um, example. Oladipo, people wrote off as a bust. And they're like, that's it, he's, he's no good. He's been traded a couple times. Which is why it kind of gives you hope for maybe sitting on some sitting on some Markel Fultz's. You know, maybe a change of scenery for him is going to be good. There's LaVisca Chenault Jr. Yeah, DJ Remix is saying, I sell a lot on eBay. I think I've seen basketball sales these days. That silvers, color, numbered color cards sell better than autos. That's been a trend too. I think, I think all the sports have been kind of seeing that, that trend. Obviously, all relatively speaking, but... But yeah, the parallels that seem to be getting a lot more love these days. Lynn Bowden Jr. for my Raiders. That's Ohio State Joe Burrow. I'll still go to the Bengals. All right. Let's go back to 2016. Donner's Optic Football, which I think the description was saying rare. I think these are somewhat hard to find. Yeah, 2016 Donner's Optic Football Hobby Edition. There will be dips, of course. I think it's naive to think that there won't be a dip. But man, it's it's a lot like the stock market. I think I think values are going to go are going to go up and down. Of course, it's kind of hard to predict. You know, we don't have as much information as the stock market. We don't know how it's going to go up, why it goes up, why it goes down. A lot of it has to do with the availability of certain cards, the gradeability of certain cards, the performance of the player off season, in season. So that's just something to keep in mind. You know, the value is not going to keep doubling and tripling forever, but at the first sign of a dip, that doesn't mean sell off your entire collection, the hobby's done. I've seen some people kind of knee-jerk and panic both, or overhype it or, or knee-jerk and panic too much a certain way as well. And it's like the stock market, this is, this is like the ultimate fantasy sports right here, ladies and gentlemen. You're betting your hard-earned money on a certain player that you decide to collect and quote-unquote invest in, you know, at whatever scale you want to do, small or large, but it's like you're kind of betting on players. Putting futures bets. 
Yeah, maybe about 20, 30 minutes. Kirk Cousins to 10. Tripper is asking, does anyone use any other sites to buy and sell cards on eBay? I know a lot of people... Uh, you, they use Facebook. If, if they join particular Facebook groups, there's often ways to buy, sell, trade in there. We actually have a Facebook group that people can join if you want to for that. I'll drop the link in the chat. I think we'll have to approve some people to get in, but we can do that. Um, a lot of people have their own personal Instagram accounts where they take pictures and show off their hits and then they sell them directly to, to the public, which of course has their own risks. Just be careful when you do that. It's just like... Just like if you're selling, as if you're selling like Craigslist or something like that, just use the same precautions. But if Rashad Higgins to 150 Browns, that'll be for Tice. Tice, were you also saying that there were there were McDonald's lobster rolls featured in your area at one point? It still blows my mind. Kenyon Drake to 149. And we've got a Tyler Irving, 8 out of 99. Black ink autograph for the Texans. That's not too bad. Jim Morin with that one. But yeah, aside from eBay, Facebook, Instagram, people like, uh, I know some people use ComC a lot, C-O-M-C dot com. But yeah, yeah, as DJ Remix is saying, I think the sometimes the issue is that on those other markets they there there might not be it's Chris Jones. Is this an autograph hotbox? Um, or do they always have this many autos? I think uh, sometimes you may find that like buyers or sellers on those other non eBay markets are not as um, sophisticated. There's Mike G with the Chiefs. So they may not be as knowledgeable or trying to take advantage of people who are not knowledgeable. Kevin Dodd, 41 out of 50. What about selling to your local card shop? Well, I don't think you're going to get... Listen, if it's convenient, then sure. There's Kevin Dodd for the Titans. This is, this is a hot box. Sean Kirkham with the Titans. You could sell to your local card shop for convenience, maybe cash in hand right away, but... You're probably not going to get the value that you want, though. Remember, they're, they've got to they've got to make their margin. They're buying off you. They'll mark it up a little bit and s probably sell it at whatever market price is. So, so yeah, I mean, do that. But I'm not sure if you're going to get like the full eBay price of something. Bill, what's going on? Where are what? Oh, local card shops? Well, there's one right here in Hermosa Beach. Out of 199, Allen Robinson. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to old 2014 Crown Royale. Gabe's saying, as long as you're making a profit off the box that you got, you don't really care. All right, yeah, if that's, if that's fair, if that's how you want to do it, yeah. Absolutely, the local car shop, if you, if you have one. Yeah, Bill does not have one in his zip code. If you're lucky enough to have one of those, then absolutely, give that a shot too. I think eBay still feels like the biggest biggest market for that. One of the big questions we have is like, um, is like, hey, when uh, discovered these group breaks, 
There's Kevin Norwood. Now I got all these cards. I don't know what to. I don't know where to. I don't, my eBay account's not built up enough. So it's worth when you start joining group breaks. It's worth grinding out, like the Kevin Norwood cards, Tice, for example, who has the Seahawks. You know, just to kind of build up your feedback rating. There's Eric Ebron. And there is Richard Ross. A little different pattern in the background. For the Bears, that'll be for Aaron Salinas. John T's local card shop and the close in the late 80s. Yeah, a lot did. I think there's... I mean, it's one out of 25, by the way. I mean, at one point, it was like one in every, every town, big or small, right? It's 25, Ed Reynolds. And Aaron Rodgers to 99. And Paul Richardson, another Seahawk, rookie royalty relic. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even then on eBay, you're limited to 20,000 before the IRS gets involved. Right, if you're what, over, over the course of a year? But yeah, there's taxes involved in that too, so. Rookie royalty, Devonta Freeman. Yeah, so maybe like private cash avenues are also a thing if you want to avoid tax stuff. All right, that was 2014 Crown Royale. That Devonta Freeman rookie relic goes to Zachary G. All right, what about some playbook? Into the good stuff here. Luis, your target sucks. Never restocks baseball, basketball. Tell him. Ask the manager. I'm serious. Ask the store manager. They target listens to that. Read those retail stores. Listen to the feedback. Uh, 299 Daryl don't talk to a, a, a stock kid stock talk, get it get a store manager over be like hey a lot of collectors in the area would love for you to stock stock more of this uh, Daryl Henderson 299 for the Rams James we've got mammoth materials Noah Fant for my rivals the Broncos 299 Thomas We got Christian Kirk, X's and O's jersey and autograph to 249. Yeah, unless it's the manager of the Target, by, like stealing those box, or buying those boxes before they even hit the floor. Cardinals, Davis. And the book here in Playbook is a bit of a green foil on there. Five out of 25, Nick Bosa. Two color patch and autograph, nice. There you go, 49ers. John Paul. I have a slider box here. Nice Nick Bosa. Did I say Joey? Nice Nick Bosa. All right, what, else, what should we go to? What about this Contender's Optic? You know, pre-pandemic DJ Remix, that was sort of the idea of the shop, kind of blend the old school with the, with the new school. We had like a card bar built out there where people can hang out. It's literally a bar, but for opening up cards and it's supposed to be more of a hangout sort of situation. Oh, is that an autograph? We had just opened for a couple months, did our grand opening and everything. And then, bang. Shut down. Thankfully, the core of our business has always been online. 
So we really didn't skip a beat, but. We got a randomizer there. Jared Goff to 99. All right, so we've got a couple autographs here. We've got Rookie Ticket Auto, Dawson Knox. That'll be for Tyson the Bills. Buffalo! To 75. And this should be an on-card auto, and it's Nikhil Harry. That green pulsar they introduced this year, which I think looks really sharp. That is for the Patriots. Tice with that one as well, New England Patriots. Six out of 27. All right. Let's go to Origins. 2019 or Should we go a little bit older? 2018 Origins. Do the old one first. Then we'll do Panini 1. Then we'll do First Off the Line Impeccable. And then we'll give away... That Tua full-size helmet right there. So if you're like, man, Joe, I've, I have not been having a good break. Still have a shot at the Tua. Chris Hogan to 175, AJ Green to 299, and Bradley Chubb. 24 out of 99, a big Chubb right here. Bradley, that is. It's a family show, folks. Easy. Broncos, Thomas Riffle with that one. Where's Nick? Nick Chubb. Broncos, that's going to go to Thomas. Hayden Hurst. Nice, four color patch and autograph for the Purple Birds. That'll be for Aaron Billingsley. And back here is Royce Freeman. Big jumbo relic there, another Bronco for Thomas. All right, now 2019 Origins. Love this Origins. All right, there's a redemption on the bottom. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? There's AJ Green to 299, Odell Beckham Jr. to 175, Travis Kelsey, Leonard Fournette. There's Tiki Barber and Saquon Barkley. Origins of Greatness dual relic, 26 out of 30. Luis guessing Kelsey, Travis Kelsey. Or Jason Kelsey. That's for New York, that'll be for Tice. And we got Justice Hill, Justice being served to Aaron Billingsley, 11 out of 99. All right. Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs Turquoise. Not sure what that's number two, but it's card 112. And it's going to be M A Marquise, Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown for Aaron Billingsley and the Ravens.
All right, Panini one. All right, good luck with this one. What do we have? We have an eagle. It's JJ or Thiegel Whiteside. Nice patch right there. 23 out of 25 on card autograph. Who's got the fly eagles? Fly. That'll be Adam Kupperman on the board with the eagles. Nice. And that impeccable. First off the line. Base card on the bottom, yes. All right, last box, then the giveaway. Two out of eight, Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown, probably not a fan of the, the Oakley filter helmets that they've got there, which I thought was interesting. Uh, Oakland, no, not, not Oakland anymore. Vegas on my list, Zachary. Zachary G with that. Different parallels in these first off the lines. We've got 73 out of 75, Tony Gonzalez, Chiefs, Mike G, Chiefs. We got Will Greer, autograph, 72 out of 75. Rookie landscape auto. For the Panthers, that will be for Brandon in Carolina. I guess he'd be uh, backing up Bridgewater, I suppose. Ed Oliver, 71 out of 99. Buffalo! Tice with the Bills. Kenyon Drake, on-card autograph, victory signatures, 37 out of 49. Dolphins 34, Patriots 33. Was this that last, that must be the last second. Yeah, all, the, all those laterals. And is that is that where Gronkowski was back there and he got tripped up a little bit? Dolphins, that goes to Jacob K. Brett Favre, autograph, 3 out of 10. First ballot signatures, on-card Brett Favre autograph. Sean Kirkham with the Packers. I don't think I called your name all break, at least for the Packers anyway. There you go. Just one off his jersey number, of course. Jaspies for some reason. We pull nice hits. Oops. Rarely hit jersey numbers unless it's Jace hitting that Connor McDavid jersey. A couple more to go. We've got Deshaun Watson, J.J. Watt, DeAndre Hopkins. Wow. Triple autograph. Deshaun Watson, J.J. Watt, and DeAndre Hopkins. Woo. Texans, Jim Morin with Houston. And one more here. We've got Riley Ridley. Uh, nice texture. Nice piece of the helmet, I think, right there. Eight out of 19. Nine out of 19. Can't read. Riley Ridley, Calvin's brother. Bears, Aaron Salinas with Chicago. I think he was trying to trade these guys, too. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What a break. Also, we're giving this away.
Alabama full Alabama helmet, full size, Tua autograph, and Roll Tide inscription. That's pretty nice. So let's flip back to this list right here. And everyone has a shot at it. David down to Steven and everyone in between. There's also that uh, Jaguars Bills round numbers card. Jacksonville Buffalo. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a five, six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, Buffalo! Buffalo gets it. Tice with that one. After six, no, Dolphins don't automatically get it. Tyler Renner. If, this was, if it was part of a box that I own opened, then yes. Six times for the names. Name on top gets it. Good luck. One, two. Oh, wait, hold on. I said six, right? Yeah, six times. Two, three, four, five, and good luck. Sixth and final time after six. Thank you, thank you, th thanks everyone. Thank you, and you, and you, and you. Everybody for getting into the action. I appreciate it. The winner is Zachary G. There you go, Zach. You get the Tua full-size autograph Alabama helmet. There you go. Let's see if I can hold the camera stand up and angle this to get a closer look at that. Nice. Where's all of our authentication right here? There it is. There's the Fanatic sticker right there. It's going to focus on that. There you go. Kind of hard to see at that angle. But there's the Fanatic sticker right there. You can see the letters and numbers sort of hard to focus, but it's there. There you go. I think Zach was wondering, where's all the big hits? There you go. This is one of the biggest ones. There's the inside of it. I think that warning is basically saying, don't use this as a real helmet. There's a Fanatics, it's just the sticker. There's no, we might have a Fanatics card sitting there somewhere. We'll, we'll send you that pouch too. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was our, uh, what do we call this? Our 12 box high end hotness football mix. There was some pretty hot stuff here, especially towards the end. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.